So anyway, I'm the only one that's self-funding. I'm doing my own campaign. We're spending money. And, and here's, oh, here's the new story. I gotta tell you this. I gotta tell you this story, though. So I figured I'd have about $20 million spent up until this day, right? Be, you know, ads, mostly ads. But I'm a business person. So on CNN, on Fox, on all the others, I'm like, they give me so much time. They give me, like the debates. Every question was, Mr. Trump, Mr. Trump, Mr. And I'm saying to myself, what about these other people? I actually felt badly for them. <laughs> and then when they started, and the last one was CNN, they start with me and then go, Mr. Trump. Then when they ask the other guy, Mr. So-and-so, or governor, or senator, Mr. Trump said this and that, what do you think? The whole thing was like crazy. Hey! It was crazy. It was crazy. You took a poke at Rand but Paul. you got to remember, <laughs> so you have these packs. They have hundreds of millions of dollars. They're gonna spend this money on the other candidates and probably attack ads, as they call them on me. Rush Limbaugh said, no human being has ever received so much incoming as Trump. Incoming, I'd never heard that word before. It was a cool word. I think of it as being like bombarded with shells. He meant by, bombarded by bad media. But no, no individual has ever, and if you remember when I announced, and it was tough, you know, it takes guts to run for president, it really does. It really does. This isn't something that I needed, and actually I did Face the Nation, it's gonna be on on Sunday. Nice guy, John Dickerson. And I did last week, oh, by the way, I have to say it, because we're gonna put out a press release, because nobody's gonna report it. So last week, I do Meet the Press. Did anybody see it with Chuck Todd? And I did This Week with George Stephanopoulos. So, I did them. So I said, I said, and I just asked Corey, my campaign manager, I said, how did they do in the ratings? So Chuck Todd said, now maybe it's wrong, and if it's wrong, I'll end up with, you know, story old Trump said, but that's what supposedly he said. That he did unbelievable numbers, his best numbers in four years. That's with me as a guest. Six. George Stephanopoulos, their numbers were through the roof. I mean, literally, their numbers were through the roof. George, who treated me fairly, and so did, you know, so did Chuck. So I did it, and this week we're doing Face the Nation. Watch how big the numbers are, it's crazy. It's crazy, it's like The Apprentice, it's crazy. But, but I have to tell you, the press gives off false signals. So false. And I've never seen anything like it. I mean, now, if you, if you sneeze, you end up with a story. But I've never seen, some is honest, I'd say 30%. And some is pretty dishonest, and some is really disgusting. You know, knowingly bad. And I tell you two things. You're going to see a lot of inaccuracy from the press, and you're going to see a lot of commercials about Trump and other people. Those commercials are made by people that want influence. Like I used to be. I don't blame them. When somebody gives Marco Rubio two million dollars, or Jeb Bush four million dollars, or Hillary Clinton a lot of money, for the most part, she's not doing so well. I mean, honestly, she shouldn't be allowed to run. I don't think that the Democrats are going to stop her from running because the system is inherently unfair. I can tell you this, if that were a Republican that did what she did with the emails, they would have been in jail 12 months ago. It's a very unfair system. It is a very, very unfair system. But I'm telling you, if that were a Republican, it's called jail time. Clink!